Hi everyone and welcome to today's lesson. This is a B1 level lesson and we're continuing to talk about the present perfect and using just already and yet. So think about the things you've done in your life that make uh, you feel proud. So some things take a lot of effort. For example, it takes a long time to learn a new language and you have to work hard. So you can answer these questions uh, on your own. What have you achieved in your life? Why did you do it? How long did it take to achieve your goal? And have you ever made a big change in your life? And what was it? So now we're going to read about what these people have achieved. I've just completed my bachelor's degree in science. It was three years of hard work. My goal was to become a vet. I've just gotten my first job and I love it. I'm making a difference. I wanted to get fit for a long time. I trained hard for months and I've just run my first marathon. So what skills do you need to learn to do these jobs and professions? A firefighter, a journalist, and a lifeguard. Think about what skills you would need for each of those jobs. So guess who has done um, the following things? So who has completed an intensive training course? Well, probably I would say the, the lifeguard and maybe the firefighter. Who likes excitement? Uh, probably the firefighter. Who has just written an article about the environment? That would be the journalist. Who has rescued a couple of cats? That would be the firefighter. Who likes to help people? I would say the lifeguard and the firefighter. And who has always loved swimming? That would be the lifeguard. So now you're going to complete the text with a verb or adverb and a verb in the present perfect. Remember that always, already, and just appear between has or have and the past participle yet appears at the end of a sentence. So go ahead and try that on your own and then restart when you're ready to check the answers. It says, well, I have been a lifeguard for about five years. I always loved swimming and wanted to help people, so it seemed like the perfect job for me. I completed an intensive training course before I started, and we train regularly to be ready to deal with emergency situations. I haven't saved anyone's life yet. But I have kept people safe and given first aid. So yes, I think I can say that in my first five years, I have already helped to make a difference. All right, so now we're going to um, answer the comprehension questions with the present perfect or the past simple. So what did he do to become a lifeguard? Well, he completed an intensive training course. What has he done for about five years? He has been a lifeguard. Has he saved anyone's life? So he hasn't saved anyone's life yet. And has he made a difference? Yes, he has kept people safe and given first aid. So now we're gonna read about Isabel and answer the questions. Being a journalist was always my dream. I wanted to write, it was as simple as that. I have just had my 20th anniversary and I still love my job. The best part is the storytelling. I feel responsible for sharing the facts as, as clearly and as honestly as possible. 
I've just finished writing an article about single-use plastics, which gave me a real sense of satisfaction. So yes, I like to think I've made a difference. So what two things have occurred in the recent past? So she just had her 20th anniversary and she has just finished writing an article about single-use plastics. So how has she made a difference? Uh, she shared facts clearly and honestly. And what motivates Isabel? Just wanting to write. All right, past simple and present perfect. So we're going to look at the differences between the past simple and the present perfect. You can use the present perfect with an expression that shows a repeated action or with an expression that shows an unfinished time. So I have been to Japan three times or we have traveled to London three times this year. So in this example, this year is not finished. We have to use the past simple with an expression of time in the past. I went to Japan three times in 2018. So in 2018 is an expression of time in the past. We traveled to London three times last year. Last year is also an expression of time in the past. All right, so we're going to complete the conversation using a verb or adverb and verb in the past simple or the present perfect. You want to check for time expressions. Do the expressions refer to a time in the past or an unfinished time? So go ahead and try that on your own. And then you can restart the video when you're ready to check your answers. How is your training course? Are you still studying to become a police officer? In fact, I have just finished the course. I had my final exam last week. That's great news. I suppose you have already started looking for a job. Well, guess what? I have already found a job. Can you believe it? I went to an interview three days ago and they offered me a job yesterday. I'm so happy. Well done. You studied hard all last year. Best of all, I got a great grade on my exam. I scored 94%. Best of luck to you, Jack. I'm sure you will be a great police officer. All right, now you can read through um, this section and choose the correct tense. Again, you can pause the video, try that on your own, and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. So like many boys, I wanted to be a firefighter when I grew up. When I was five, the main thing that appealed to me was the excitement, I think. As I got older, I realized that it gave me the opportunity to help people. I have only been a firefighter for six months, but I have already seen some big fires. I haven't rescued any people yet, just a couple of cats, but I hope that in the future, I get the chance to make a real difference. Now, many people dream of having their own business. So you can answer these questions on your own. Would you like to have your own business? What are the advantages and disadvantages of having your own business? Do you have any special skills? Can you make things? Could you sell something? And could you work with your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, or other family member? All right, we're going to listen to Natasha. Natasha runs um, a business with her boyfriend, and she's going to talk about the business. My partner and I have our own architecture firm. 
After we graduated from college, we worked for different companies for about 10 years. But we found that we spent long hours working on projects that didn't interest us very much. And we spent very little time together. All right, so what kind of business does she have? She said it was an architecture firm. And why did they start a business together? Um, they weren't spending much time together. So now she um, continues to talk about the architecture firm. Now that we have our own company, the situation has changed completely. The first year was difficult, and we took on a lot of basic jobs like remodeling bathrooms or kitchens. They weren't very exciting, but they paid the bills. Anyway, that was five years ago, and we've already made a lot of progress. We've completed a number of large projects successfully, and this has already generated a lot of business. In fact, we have just signed a lucrative new contract with an existing client. All right, so their first jobs weren't exciting, but they made enough money to live. Natasha and her partner have completed a large number of projects successfully. And re recently, Natasha and her partner signed a lucrative new contract. Okay, we're going to listen to the final part of the recording and answer the questions. An important aspect of our work is meeting with clients, and at times it can be frustrating. For example, I have just spoken to a client who keeps changing his mind. He does have the final say, and we respect that, but we've already wasted a lot of time. I know that he's going to follow my advice eventually, but he hasn't realized that yet. The main thing we're going to work on in the future is switching off at the end of the day. We work very well together, but we often find ourselves talking about work during dinner or on the weekend. We haven't found the perfect work-life balance yet. Okay, so who has Natasha just spoken with? Oh, it was... She has just spoken with a client who keeps changing his mind. According to Natasha, what have they wasted? They have already wasted a lot of time. What are she and her partner going to work on in the future? So they are going to work on, she said, switching off at the end of the day, meaning they won't talk about work when they're at home. And what does she say about work-life balance? She says they haven't found the correct work-life balance. yet. All right, so it says you've had your own design business for five years. What have you done? Who have you worked with and what haven't you done? So we'll listen. My partner and I have our own architecture firm. After we graduated from college, we worked for different companies for about 10 years, but we found that we spent long hours working on projects that didn't interest us very much, and we spent very little time together. Now that we have our own company, the situation has changed completely. The first year was difficult, and we took on a lot of basic jobs like remodeling bathrooms or kitchens. They weren't very exciting, 
but they paid the bills. Anyway, that was five years ago, and we've already made a lot of progress. We've completed a number of large projects successfully, and this has already generated a lot of business. In fact, we have just signed a lucrative new contract with an existing client. An important aspect of our work is meeting with clients, and at times it can be frustrating. For example, I have just spoken to a client who keeps changing his mind. He does have the final say, and we respect that, but we've already wasted a lot of time. I know that he's going to follow my advice eventually, but he hasn't realized that yet. The main thing we're going to work on in the future is switching off at the end of the day. We work very well together, but we often find ourselves talking about work during dinner or on the weekend. We haven't found the perfect work-life balance yet. All right, and that brings us to the end of today's video. Please like, subscribe, share, and leave us a comment. Um, hope to see you again. Thanks for watching. Bye.